Hey, what's up everybody? It's Josh Roman over here at the Heaven on Wheels Garage. Um, you know, people are always asking me what I think about uh, certain builds or builders. Um, you know, kind of my advice on what to buy if you're going to be in the retail market anytime soon. I know right now things are kind of uh, dead right now. But when things pick back up, um, you know, these cars are going to be pretty popular again. I, I can pretty much put my money on it. I am putting my money on it, really, um, by keeping these cars on the fleet. Um, I think that, you know, uh, honestly, right now with the coronavirus and the pandemic going on, it just seems like people are renting the smaller limos a lot more. Um, the big buses are kind of, uh, not kind of, they are just sitting so um, I'm going to give you a little bit of preview of, of the cars that I have and, and my personal take on them, whether I would recommend buying them again or not. Um, and if I was to buy them again, what I would do differently or ask the builder to do differently. So um, my first review is going to be with the Pinnacles. This might be a little bit of a long video, but I'm going to show you three different Pinnacles that we have. Um, we have a lot more, but you know I'm going to take, uh, take three of them and kind of show you the gist of those. Um, so... The first one is going to be this ram right here uh let's just show you all of it the whole inside and outside of the of the ram and what i think about it so this is my 20 night 20 sorry 2018 ram we just had it built in 2019 um but it's a 2018 ram chassis it's a tradesman uh 2500 diesel uh, i wanted to go with a diesel I wanted a bigger engine i wanted more power um, I also wanted the eight foot bed and I'll show you why here in a minute, but this is all custom that I had done. Um, I had a built and I designed it with Frank over at Pinnacle. So starting from the front, um, Frank always adds LEDs, little strobe lights in the front, kind of like right there. I had those sent to him from Amazon because I didn't really like, uh, he normally does, I'll show you on the pink Escalade. He normally does those little round ones right there. Um, if you can see that those kind of go out pretty easily they, they they burn up so I had these installed these are kind of cool they're multi-function so they uh, they have one solid flash or they flash one side or the other um, so I can turn those on here in a minute and show you uh, a little bit of upgrades that I did personally we upgraded the headlights we didn't like to look to the headlights um, I also sent these to Frank these uh, uh, fender flares and he had those installed uh, when I by the time I went and picked them up he already had them on uh, this truck might be a little dirty because it went out this weekend but um, but yeah so once we brought it back here to Texas we also added the rims and tire package um, so here we have these on I forget I think they're 20 they're 22 inch rims no 20 inch so the tire is a 285 55 20 um, nothing too special uh, I put these renegades on there the tires are actually really good they have a ton of meat um, still pretty good so good tire package so let's show you from the front back right so the front driver's cab let me turn this radio down all right so the front driver cab here you go nothing special again it's a tradesman so it's a basic package cloth interior uh, it's got carpeting with a ram mat um, it's got it's got a rear view camera a smaller touchscreen display um, not really too familiar with the rams but um, I don't know what size that is probably looks like a five inch screen maybe four inch screen I don't know uh, your regular knobs and then this is Frank's uh, Eco light uh, touchscreen system. Um, we're going to touch on that a little bit later, but center console, third seat if you wanted. Uh, so, yeah, you've got your partition. Never had a problem with Frank's partition. Let me move the seat up a little bit. Let me show you a little bit back here the controller. All right, so this is how Frank wires his units. Um, you've got your main control box there powered by. The eco light system uh he installs what is this jbl there's a small jbl amp there i think that's for the speakers in the bed of the truck i believe i'm not 100 sure 
then you've got a bigger Rockers Fosgate amp for all the highs and the and the mids, I believe. I'm not a I'm not an audio guy, so don't kill me if I'm wrong. But then you've got all the fuses right there, your fuses and your relays. And over there are the RGB control boxes. Um, it says Mastercon. Charles over at um, Equalite, I believe, is a company name. I think he changed it again, but Charles Dickinson is his name. Um, these go out. I give him a ring, send him a picture, and he'll send me a new box. Uh, I believe those boxes honestly cost about, I want to say they were about $250 each. Um, they're pretty pricey, so if the RGB boxes go out, it's going to cost you a, a pretty penny. Um, and this box right here, not in this vehicle, but in one of my other vehicles, has gone out. It cost me $1,000 just for the box alone. So, um, the Rockford, Pros the Fo the Rockford Fosgate uh, amp that he installs, uh, I'll put a description in the, in the, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you need to order a new one. Um, those you can buy right on Amazon. I believe they're about 300 bucks. And then up here, he's got a little laser light that I can put in the description too, uh, in case those go out for, on you. But that's Frank's wiring. It's pretty clean, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the box kind of controls everything though. So, uh, yeah, if anything goes out, it's either RGB boxes usually, um, and the main box. So those three RGBs, I believe those are three RGB boxes. I believe one controls your, your outside opera lights. One controls your inside lights. And I want to say the third control of the underbody lights. I'm not hundred percent sure which is which, but they do. So let me start in the back here before I go inside. Frank charged me an extra 15 grand, I believe 15 to 20 grand for this conversion. So I had him just for this part, the bed part. Uh, I wanted something unique, something different. So we installed, he mounted a bench seating in here that matches the inside. We did the roll cage bars. Um, I also have a cover for it, but I found a lot of people like to stand in the back, not while the vehicle's moving, of course, but for pictures. So we've taken those covers out. He installed this bar for me, um, the lights. This vehicle is over a year old. We've had it for just about a year. I think it popped up the other day in my time hop. And the RGB back here still works just fine. Um, they're water resistant. So are the speakers, they're marine speakers. Um, and then we also added an extra layer of protection by sealing up here between the uh, between the bed and the and the panel. So if we ever need to get back to it, just gotta cut that seal. Uh, we rhino lined the uh, floor of the bed. And then we've added those speakers. We haven't wired them yet, but we need some electrical guy to come out here and, and fix those speakers for us and wire them up. I also added this little tailgate lift uh, thing. I did this myself. So you know it's pretty easy if I did it myself. Literally, you close the uh, tailgate and you open it up and it doesn't slam down it it's like a little shock for your tailgate it opens it pretty smoothly so um love that thing i think that thing was under 25 bucks i'll put the link in the description down below too but uh but yeah that if you have a pickup truck that's definitely um worth it's worth the money so a lot of people quest asking me back here um they say hey josh i mean is that even legal for them to ride in the back of the bed uh, yes, in Texas it is legal. It's a fixed or it's a mounted seat. It's the same as driving a Jeep, especially with a roll bar. That's why you put the roll cage up there. Frank added an extra light there for me on the bar, a third brake light. But uh, we don't allow people to ride back here when the vehicle's moving, only if we're tailgating, taking pictures, um, or for parades. That's it. I mean, uh, insurance purposes, we don't, not even insurance, just safety reasons. We don't allow people to ride back here. Um, just too many things can happen so we also added this uh red strip of led uh red brake light and again back here you're going to be your your two strobe lights as well um we added that light here and it goes right into your trailer hitch wiring so it's uh pretty easy and expensive and it gives the give the truck really cool uh extra light at night i also bought that on amazon and i'll pop that uh, that in the description for you The link to it So part of the conversion that Frank did right here the extra bed 
we had him install this door, uh, this glass door. One of a kind. I don't think I've ever seen a limo with this anywhere. Um, so yeah, it's, he installed this awesome door. It's uh, it's pretty secure. Uh, it's really heavy duty. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty heavy door. Looks like a little scratch there from from somebody closing it probably with the, the uh, latch open or something, but really good door, solid. I have had no water leaks whatsoever. We did add these little holes in here and we re, uh, re rhino lined the bottom, which is why it looks a little funky, but we added the holes for drainage purposes. So if it rains, um, the water drops in and then just goes right through. So it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't just sit there and collect. So, and basically here's the interior. I don't know if it'll pick it up in camera, but you can see that this is one of my first pet peeves with, with Frank. I love Frank. And I'm gonna tell you some of the things that are good. I mean, a lot of things are good, but I'm definitely gonna tell you some of the bad things so that you know when you go to buy, you're not surprised when this stuff happens. Um, but the RGBs in the floor, if you get a disco floor, uh, it's kind of a, a nightmare because they're not waterproof. Um, so if any liquid does fall on there, um, it's gonna get wet and it's gonna burn. So um, you also get these little, I don't know if it'll pull up a camera, I got a green light over there, a red light down there, green light right here. It's supposed to be all white. You can see this green one right here and this blue one right here. It's supposed to be all white, but uh, these RGBs are the first ones to mess up. So uh, we've got a touch screen. Again, the Ecolite touch screen. I love them. They look great, but honestly, if anything goes wrong, a screen goes bad, 500 bucks. RGB box goes bad, 250 and the problem is let's say the back screen goes out or the front screen goes out um sometimes uh you can't operate anything at all like nothing will work in the back just because the screens are out so you may lose money you may lose a reservation or two until you uh get a replacement does it happen often i'd say something goes bad give or take at least once a year in the vehicle in one vehicle whether it's a touch screen an rgb box um one of the touch screens or, or the main box itself. So uh, that's that's kind of the frustrating part uh, with the touch screens, um, this Ecolite system. It's all it's all computerized, it's all programmed. Um, if one if one thing goes bad, pretty, pretty much the whole thing is no good. So he puts a really good radio in. I love these Kenwoods, they're Bluetooth. Um, they work great. I'll put a description in the, in the, or a link in the description below. He also puts computer monitors. They're actually not screen, or they're not TVs, but they're monitors. So you can't connect any Wi-Fi to them. As far as I know, if you know that you can, let me know. Um, but the TVs and the buses I do uh, have Wi-Fi, but these are not. Uh... All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the controls right here. So basically you've got your disco lighting. Um, it's already up to the third level. You got high, medium, and low. So if you want to bring it down a little bit and dim it, um, you can dim it a little bit more and then dim it all the way down to low. And you can tell, I'm not sure if you can tell here, but it's definitely dimmed down. Uh, let me show you while I hit it up a little bit. That's a medium. So it starts to come up a little bit, a little bit brighter. And then that's your high. So it's nice and bright. Okay, so I just hit the AC button. If you have one of these vehicles and you're trying to figure out why the AC is not working, first thing you wanna check is make sure the AC button's on. Okay, it'll turn blue once it's on then you turn your fan speed up okay uh, one of the positives with Frank's AC or with his builds is his AC is usually spot on he'll add on a second compressor um, it's it's really good if he can put a second compressor in a vehicle like the escalates um, they they freeze you out and we're in Texas 105 110 degrees in the summertime and I have no complaints for Frank's uh, AC builds. I mean, he builds he builds a kit. I believe he builds them custom, um, and and they're perfect. So you got laser lights, as you can see that I have the laser lights on. You've got the strobe lights, which I'll turn the strobe lights on now. He puts strobes under the seats. A little hard to see during the day, but at night it looks great. Uh, let's see neon effect. Just that. You turn the neon effect on, 
and it's going to start showing you uh let's see here turn on disco effect it'll change the lights for you okay so you can continue hitting disco effect and it'll change different modes okay so right now it's going kind of fast hit it again it'll move something else it's got like i don't know probably about a hundred different modes that you can do in here stars intercom there is no video for it to view um if there was a video if you had a dvd in there and you hit video view this would play whatever's on a dvd right um touch it again to go back to the screen go all white and it'll change it all to all white okay so again disco effect here's your different moves and then you got your divider Frank's dividers always work. I mean, I've really never had an issue with his dividers. The motor that he uses. Uh, so yeah, again, my biggest complaint with one of these vehicles um, is the touchscreen. I mean, they work, they work really well until they don't. Um, so another thing about Frank's builds, best in, in the industry, in my opinion, is his seats, okay? Uh, they're a little hard. They're not, they're definitely firm. Um, they're not cushiony, uh, but uh, but they last. I mean, they last a long time. Like they just, they don't show wear and tear the way he, he makes them hard. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but I mean, I can barely push down on here. I mean, you can, but it pops right back up. Uh, his seats are made to last. He uses it. This vehicle has like a carbon fiber with another like a, uh, textured vinyl with another smooth stitched um, leather so uh, the seats are incredible um, you can either give him a design that you like or uh, or I just tell him to design it for me I tell him I, he knows his stuff he knows it better than I do he's the he's an expert and I tell him just make it look good so he did this whole design I did want infinity uh, some infinity lighting in this one so if you look at the infinity lighting it's just a mirror with an infinity effect i mean that's one small strip of lighting that makes it look like there's 20 of them so the lighting itself is so cool um again i don't think anybody can beat frank in the industry um at least with these stretches um with his interiors um, he's got this little metal grate, like honeycomb looking thing here with some, you know, lighting underneath it. Uh, awesome. Looks awesome. So there's Frank's, uh, build. He's got more than enough bar space right now. We don't have any cups or ice in here or drinks in here because of what's going on right now, the pandemic. But, uh, you know, we always have glassware available for customers. We do, uh, we do behind the seat because we want to have as much seating as possible, most, the most capacity. So we, we do uh, behind the seat bars. So there's Frank's build. Um, this is his Ram and I'm about to show you the, uh, the Challenger. So let's go check out the Challenger. So guys, this is a Challenger stretch limousine that we have built by Pinnacle uh, Limo Manufacturing or Pinnacle Limousine Manufacturing. This is a 2019 Dodge Challenger underbody glow lights opera lights or behind the glass opera lights uh let me show you the driver's cab nothing too special here um you've got an awesome touchscreen control that beeping is going to be the jet doors that are open and it's just to notify the driver that the jet doors are open so let me move the seat up wiring your fuses and relays now this one's built a little bit different than the ram so you got your Rockford, Rockford Fosgate amp and your two RGB controls. This one only has two. The reason I say this one's built different is because I asked Frank uh, to build this one and there's a spare battery. Uh, it's like a, looks like a, uh, a blue top Optima battery. So I asked Frank to build this one uh, with no touch screens. I don't want, I didn't want any touch screens on this one. So I'm gonna show you how we did that. All right, so let's go in the back of this one. So again, I asked Frank, no touch screens. I didn't want to do touch screens on this anymore. Um, 
touch screens were just starting to mess up a little bit. Um, I didn't want the extra headache. So I wanted a more solid design. One I don't have to worry about too much as far as breaking down. And this is what we came up with. It's a simple relay and switch design. Okay, I don't know if you can see it too well here, but you've got your, basically your lighting control on and off. If I wanted all white, that's gonna switch me to all white. Also has the infinity design. I mean, look at that, that's gorgeous. Okay, so all white, let's go back, let's do colors. Okay, it changes the colors, okay. If I want to change the mode or the mood, the mood lighting is basically these uh, white lights here. Okay. Get them down here. Okay. So then you have your your laser strobes and uh, your lasers and strobe right here. So your laser strobes turns on the laser up there. I don't know if you can see it above that partition. Uh, there's your laser light right here. And then your strobe is obviously under the seats. Again, too flashy, you just turn them off. Then you got your partition divider that goes up and down with the infinity lighting as well. Again, he adds a little monitor up here. There's only one monitor in this vehicle. Um, it's a good 20, I believe it's like a 20, I oh don't know, that's not a 20, that's more like a 14 inch uh, monitor. And again, and then you've got your, your AC and uh, heat controls here. That's it. Switches. AC and controls, uh, heat is up, AC is in the middle, off if you push it all the way down. Okay, high, medium, and low, that's it. Uh, super simple, nothing to it. Uh, all fuses and relays, you've got your LED design down here with a mirrored bar, uh, acrylic uh, champagne glass holder. He's got plenty of bucket holders here and ice holders, uh, as well as cups, cup holders. Um, I love this design by Frank, I'll be honest with you. Um, I also did something a little unique. I put wood floors or, you know, faux vinyl floors instead of uh, disco floors. Didn't want to do disco anymore. Uh, it's just too much of a headache, too much of a hassle. And then Frank did this awesome seat design. But look at this design though, right? I mean, again, one of those things where I just tell him, do your thing. He did this diamond stitch uh, insert with like this, I don't know if you can see right there, this, this black carbon fiber material um, and then regular leather or pleather. But it is a, uh, a three different types of material design. Again, firm, firm seating. Um, it's meant to last and that's what I love about it. So again, the mirrored ceiling is just incredible. So I honestly love this design of his. Um, he's got a cigarette outlet right here, a USB port, and a auxiliary jack or headphone jack for the radio. Again, Kenwood radio. I believe that's a Kenwood. Yep, Kenwood radio. Um, meant to last. These these designs of Frank's are meant to last. Okay. So uh, next, I'm gonna show you the bus, and then uh, I'm done. I'm gonna give you some some uh some of my pointers uh if you're gonna order one from from frank and uh, from pinnacle limousine manufacturing uh let's go check Here out the bus we are in our glabelle uh it's a glabelle bus 30 passenger uh interior designed by pinnacle limousine manufacturing or frank you hear me say frank in this video is because uh frank owns pinnacle limousines or pinnacle limo manufacturing um yeah and he's the one that does all the builds and designs so, uh, let me show you a little bit of something. Now, I didn't have this one built. I actually bought this one uh, from a buddy of mine who built it about a year, probably about a year ago now. So, um, I've got, I had two, three, three other buses built by Pinnacle as well. Um, but I'm gonna show you this one right now. So anyways, 30 passengers. Uh, it's got a also infinity mirror design on top, behind the seat bar to maximize capacity. It's got a TV in the rear, a large TV in the rear, and a large TV in the front. I have these set up with that personal Wi-Fi hotspot. If you can see that, I'm sorry about the lighting in here, but uh, it's a Ryzen Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, so that basically means I can connect the rear TV to 
a fire stick and I can have my customers watch whatever they want to watch. Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, you name it. So Frank has this uh, wood vinyl flooring, same that's in my Challenger that you saw a minute ago. Um, awesome octagon or what is this, diamond stitching. Again, the um, very firm leather seating. Um, the same um, honeycomb metal lighting that he puts in the limousines. Um, now, I'm going to tell you, these buses are, this bus design of his is notorious for these, these columns or whatever to go bad. Whether it's, you know, they start missing lights you know like rgb instead of it you know it might be missing the red or the green or the blue um or or it goes out altogether so um it's not uncommon that we have to take you know unscrew it here on both sides unscrew there unscrew down there and remove this piece right here and replace that that rgb strip it's not not very uncommon also what's not uncommon for his builds or these builds right here is for like lighting like this you can see that the rgb light looks like it came up a little bit um, it's not really sitting on the ground on the bottom anymore. I'm not really sure why that does that um, But it, I mean you can see that kind of all the way down on on this bus so um, So he's got the Rockford Fosgate speakers 6.9s Kenwood radio and he put a little uh, Pocket here with plenty of plugs cigarette outlets and a USB port down there another USB port up here and an auxiliary jack um, pretty cool little design right there. Looks like I'm missing the bezel for the radio that will replace here soon. But uh, let's go down here to the touchscreen. Same as the car, same same touchscreen system as the uh, RAM that I showed you. Floor, light, ceiling bikes are all on bright. Disco effect will turn um, turn the colors. So again, you kind of go through the modes however you want to until you get a mode that your customers like. We've got lasers, so there goes the laser lights. He's got one laser in the back right there uh, above the TV, and he's got the other laser right up here, okay? In the buses, he also installs a camera. Um, I believe he has them in the Ram too. I forgot to show you, but in the buses, he, I know for sure he installs the cameras um, so the driver can watch what's going on in the rear. Um, TVs, turn the TV system on. Uh, strobes again will be under the seating turn on the strobe lights so let's go see it better looking like that okay so he has some speakers in the bar area what is that looks like a uh, black punk I don't know what brand that is normally he puts the Rockford Boss Gates or the kickers not on this bus so you got the champagne buckets right there two coolers some uh some champagne holders again some more rockford boss cake six by nines uh and as you can see like this one right here this one's gonna have to be replaced this strip of lighting right here so you can see that that one's burnt out didn't notice that a minute ago maybe the white works and then the rest of them don't but we'll replace that this week uh ac blows awesome in here again this is not a frank ac build though at least the chassis is not. Uh, the chassis is built by Glavel. I've got an executive coach, a couple executive coaches that I converted with Frank's interior. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So, okay, so I showed you three builds built by Frank over at Pinnacle Limousine Manufacturing. Overall, um, I think he's one of the best in the industry. Uh, building stretches customs and, and bus interiors I mean I've been a huge fan of his uh, since um, my first build with him um, he makes the process very easy basically you give him a call um, he'll start building uh, as long as he has a, a lender in place if you can't secure or uh, find a vehicle that you want built or stretched um, he's got guys for that so uh, he's got a couple uh, dealerships that he works with based on what chassis you want to work with or want to want to build. 
um, whether it's an Escalade or a vehicle. Um, the Ram that I built, I secured through Frank um, because it got delivered, it was purchased in California and it got delivered to his shop. I didn't have to pay California state tax. Um, if I bought it in California, had it shipped here, I would have had to pay tax, state tax. So uh, I avoided California state tax that way. Um, got a good deal on it, got a better deal on it in California that could have here locally. So uh, if you are in the market to buy a new vehicle, I would check with Frank first um, before you go buy one and then ship it to him. Saves you a lot of money. Um, Frank's build takes anywhere from four to six weeks. Um, depends on what time of year uh, you build with him, but he's pretty quick and honestly he'll probably have it done before you um, before you even think it'll be ready. So um, go there, pick it up, you know, you check it out or you send somebody to check it out or you have a shipper ship it for you. I would not hesitate in a minute to have Frank ship me a vehicle without seeing it sight unseen because I know his quality is there. As far as warranty work, uh, boy guys, Warranty is a big issue uh, in our industry. It's very hard sometimes to get a lender, I'm sorry, a builder to warranty their products. And, and that's why some of the builders have flourished and have um, had great successes. And others, uh, you kind of buy their product knowing that uh, it probably comes without a warranty and you don't have to you know, fix it yourself. Um, so how does Frank or Pinnacle Limousine Manufacturing uh, par up to warranty work Honestly, we have our own shop. We've had our own shop for years. I have our own in-house mechanics So nine times out of ten sometimes it's just easier for me to fix something than to have to go and call the manufacturer and go through the process Frank's is not that difficult though um, You give Frank a call tell him what's going on and usually you'll have he'll talk to the mechanic directly and and work out a, uh, an agreement with the mechanic a price agreement as well as uh, uh, payment so uh, you don't have to worry about it whatsoever uh, Frank gives him a credit card you're done you pick up your vehicle um, yeah that's basically it um, we'll talk about uh, let's see here what else uh, I've been to his shop I've seen it personally how they build um, he's got some great guys working under him his quality control is is very good um, so uh, there you go. There's my review of Pinnacle Limousine Manufacturing. Frank, give Frank a call. Tell him that I sent you. Tell him you saw the Heaven on Wheels or Josh Roman video. And uh, tell him I sent you. Hope this video wasn't too long. And uh, good luck on your new purchases. Hopefully uh, you'll make plenty of money with them. Because I know uh, if you're one of the first in your market to have his kind of products, it'll make you money um, and it'll make a name for yourself. Uh, uh, the bootleg homemade bus years are over. Um, lots of builders, lots of limo companies are going to very much nicer limo buses, not really party buses. Um, and you can ask for a lot more per hour uh, than you could uh, for a homemade party bus. So, uh, hope you guys like my review. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, if you like my, my video, please give me a like down on the bottom here uh, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a lot more of these reviews coming up in the next few weeks is going to be uh, uh, Tiffany uh, builds I have a few of their their builds I wanted to show you the differences between the two builders uh, and then I have a limo land or Springfield coach group uh, limo that I want to show you guys too and give you guys my honest opinion um, so anyways guys uh, again give me a like hit me subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos and we'll see you on the next one